Hey guys, today I am here to take you on a tour of my TBR shelf, which is the shelf behind me. Um, this is not my complete TBR list. Um, I guess I've got my like cart that I update fairly frequently. It does need quite a few books added to it, so as we go through my shelf, um, if there are some books that you think that I should really put on my cart in the near future, please let me know because I will be um, filling that up in the next couple weeks here. And then, so I got my cart. I also have like my Agatha Christie in a special place here, my unread Agatha Christie. And then upstairs, I have um, a couple shelves of other TBR books that are, um, this isn't 100%, but they're often like the second book. So book one is here behind me and I haven't got to read book two yet, obviously, and I don't want to read book two first. So that's upstairs. And then I also, if I have been reading a series and I've like read the first book or two or whatever, then I often have the entire series upstairs. So I have a lot of my L.M. Montgomery books upstairs and um, a couple other series that I'm reading. Um, the Alexander McCall Smith, um, what is that called? The number one ladies detective agency series, stuff like that. And a bunch of unread classics I have upstairs as well. So this is not all of them, but these are the ones that are here. So these are the ones I thought I would share with you. Now, I didn't want to make this too boring. Um, just by telling you the name of every single book. So what I thought I would do here is tell you the name of the book because that makes sense. Um, and then possibly like the genre if I know it. And um, then I'm going to rate them. And I'm going to rate them from numbers one through four uh, because I don't want a middle number where I can just be a cheater. So number one is like, I really want to read this. I would like this to go on my cart like really soon. Number two is like, I want to read it, like favorite, but not as much. Anyone ever do listen to, watch Brian Regan? Um, three is like, if there's nothing better to read. And four is honestly, I don't even know why it's here. So I'm going to um, maybe just grab like the first stack of books and uh, start showing you them. Okay, first up we've got Kate Quinn, The Huntress. This one is historical fiction and it's probably like a three and a half star, I, maybe a four star or a four in my reading, not a star. Um, like, I'm not sure I'm ever really gonna pick this one up. Then I've got Terry Blackstock's True Light. This is um, Christian Suspense. This one's book three, so I don't own book two, but I've read book one, so I want to get to it. So I'll put it down as like a two because it's not like next on my list because I need to get to the uh, book two first. Then I've got Laura Marshall friend request. This one is a psychological thriller according to the back and this one is probably a three. Then we've got mapping the bones and this I don't know what this is. Historical fiction, maybe some fantasy. I used to really want to read this. This would have been like a one and since I read another one by her, Briar Rose, that has bumped this down probably to a two. And then <laughs> this one is The Secret Lives of Sergeant John Wilson, A True Story of Love and Murder. This is a historical nonfiction book from the area that I live. I read it in high school, really would like to reread it. Um, probably give this one a three. Uh, yeah, just because it's so local, it wasn't the best written, but because it's so local, I want to read it again. Continuing on, we've got The Queen Rising. This is YA fantasy maybe? Um, this is probably a three. Inside Out and Back Again. I think this is middle grade. Yeah, and it is, um, a free verse novel, so I should want to read it. Uh, let's give this one a two. Then I've got The Testament by John Grisham. Uh, what is this? I don't know what the genre is. I picked it up because of Oshina and does it say the genre? No. Okay. Um, because of Oshina, it's definitely at least a three, uh, two. My, my number system is getting me mixed up. Um, yeah, it's a two. I probably should have written my numbering system down. Okay, next up we've got Unfolding. This is... I don't know. Uh, probably YA. I read one of Jonathan Friesen's books like a year and a half ago. Uh, my interest in this is probably three. Oh, my stack's gonna fall. 
Then I've got A Wolf Called Wander. I really like the cover of this. This feels like a, well, it is middle grade. It feels like it would be good for middle grade March. Um, this one is probably a 2.5. No, I'm just making up things. Um, then I've got The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. I am currently reading The Host, and so however that one goes might depend on what this gets. What is this? Uh, I don't know what kind of book this is, uh, genre-wise, so maybe it wasn't great for me to say the genres when I don't even know. Yep, not sure. Um, probably a two. Then I've got Portrait of Vengeance by Carrie Stewart Parks. This is uh, Christian Suspense, and this is book four in the series. I have book three on my TBR right now, or um, it was the one that I picked for uh, book booktube spin. Uh, so I would like to get to this as soon as that one's done. So we'll give this one a one. And Lady Jane Disappears. Um, this is historical fiction. I've actually heard really good things about this, and I don't read much historical fiction, um, but I'm giving this one a two. Now I gotta try to put this stack back and grab another stack, so hopefully things don't fall everywhere. Okay, next up is Night Books. This is um, middle grade. I don't know, I heard this is a good one for the October season though. Um, I just watched a video by a new to me channel whose name I'm blanking on power of technology um, and this was one she recommended for like October um, in her middle grade spooky recommendations so I'm thinking about trying to squeeze this onto my list for this month so I'll put it as a one then we've got Outlaws of Time The Legend of Sam Miracle this is um, middle grade fantasy and maybe I'd give this one like a three Next up is Soul's Gate by James L. Rubart. This is Christian. Usually his stuff is like, oh, this is what if you could travel inside another person's soul. Um, kind of like spiritual fiction. I don't really know. Um, and I haven't read any James L. Rubart since starting my booktube channel. The one book that I had read though, I had really enjoyed. So uh, let's give this one a one and a half. Next up is Daphne du Maurier's The King's General. I found this like vintage copy at a thrift store a long time ago, so I know nothing about it because it doesn't have a dust jacket. Um, but it is a classic that I would really like to read. I'd like to read more of her books because I wasn't a huge fan of Rebecca. So I'm gonna give this one a two. Next up is James Harriet's Animal Stories. Um, I, you'll notice I'm collecting his books, haven't read any of them. Um, these are like, I feel like the spring vibes though to me. So right now I would say this one's a three. Francine, Francine Rivers, The Atonement Child. This is Christian fiction of some sort. Um, three. Never Come Back by David Bell. This is Suspense. And oh yes, this was one of my options I think for booktube spin. It sounded interesting actually. So I'll give this one a two. Another James L. Rubart book. This is The Long Journey to Jake Palmer. Um, I don't know anything about this one. Um, so let's give this one a 2.5. And then another Jonathan Friesen book, Both of Me. I think this is YA. It's got social themes, depression, and mental illness. That sounds depressing. So let's give this one a 3.5. Okay, next up is How I Became a Spy by Deborah Hopkinson. This is um, middle grade historical fiction, and I read one of her books and really enjoyed it, and I've never picked up another one. So I would really like to get to this one. Let's give this one a 2.5. Philip Yancey, What's So Amazing About Grace? I got this in a little free library. This is Christian, nonfiction. Um, let's give this 2.5. The numbers are like, really arbitrary, but uh, The Great Shelby Holmes. This is a middle grade mystery series and I like Holmes, so I should want to read this. Let's give this one 2.5 as well. 
Ooh, I just recently hauled this one. I got it from a subscriber. This is The Gender Game. This is a YA dystopian book, I believe, and it sounds really good. So I'm going to put this one down as a one. Then The Wishmakers, which just like seriously has pretty much the best middle grade cover ever. I don't know. This one just cracks me up. Um, yeah, so middle grade fantasy. Um, the back is fun too. I just really haven't been in the mood for middle grade lately, so like this might be a good option for middle grade March. I'm gonna give this one a three for now. Oh, and then this one is, I think book one in a series, um, Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane. Uh, this is a YA fantasy series, I believe. I actually started this on audio pre-booktube days, and I think I own books one, two, and three, which maybe is the entire series, and haven't read it, so I really should. Let's give it a 2.5. Um, this is a book I recently hauled and I didn't remember getting. Uh, Orchid House. Christian fiction. General Christian fiction. I don't know. Let's give this one a 4 because I don't even know why I bought it. Piercing the Darkness. This is a sequel after This Present Darkness. So I definitely want to get to this one as soon as I've reread uh, the first one. So I'm going to give this one a 1. This is probably the most controversial book I've ever like talked about <laughs> on my channel uh, when I hauled it and everything. So this is Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials. There are a lot of thoughts about how he writes about God in this series or something and it's so polarizing. So, so this is, I don't know, like maybe YA, maybe middle grade um, fantasy. Yeah. So I want to read it for myself and make my own judgments. So I should prioritize this. This is um, three books, The Golden Compass, The Subtle Knife, and The Amber Spyglass. Let's give this one a 1.5. It feels like a good winter, uh, winter read. Okay, then I've got Nobody um, by Creston Mapes. This is Suspense. Um, I don't know anything about it. Let's give this one a 2.5. The Truth Teller by Angela Hunt. I can't remember if this is book one in a series. Yeah, or a standalone. Um, this is Christian, I don't know, something. Um, three. Free Verse by Sarah Dooley. This is middle grade, and you'd think from the title that it was actually written in free verse, but it is not. I think Holly gave this one to me for a birthday present or a Christmas present a long time ago, and I still haven't got to it. Uh, but it's not written in free verse, and I feel like that is misleading. Um, 3.5. If Only by Jennifer Gilmore. Um, I just picked this up because I like the colors. It's middle grade, and I don't know anything about it. So, three. One by One uh, by Ruth Ware. I've heard mixed things about this. This is suspense or thriller, or I don't really know what the difference is. Um, this is going to be on my winter TBR for sure, so let's give this a two. Everything for a Dog by Anne M. Martin. Um, middle grade fiction. Um, covers make such a difference, you guys. I really don't like this cover. But it's Anne and Martin, and so I want to read it. But the cover makes me think like 3.5. One More River to Cross by Jane Kirkpatrick. Did I already? No, I thought I already shared a book by her, but uh, I didn't. This is historical fiction. I should try more, more historical fiction. Maybe I would like it. Let's give this one a 2, because just for fun. Okay. This one is The Mansion of Secrets, a K. Tracy mystery. This one a friend gave back to me a while ago saying it was mine. I don't remember ever owning it, but she said she borrowed it for a few years. So um, this is mystery and that's all I know. Um, let's give it a three. The Phantom Toll Booth. Honestly, you guys, I know nothing about this. This is middle grade, often considered a classic. Um, three. Journey of the Pale Bear, totally picked up because of the cover. 
middle grade of some sort. Four. To be a cat by Matt Haig. Um, middle grade, obviously, like fantasy. Um, three. Trixie Belden, The Secret of the Mansion. I've heard such good things about this series, so I think it's middle grade mystery, maybe maybe YA. No, it looks more middle grade, judging by the font size. Um, I'm sorry, I like pause every time and say um. For 2.5. Desperate by Sarah May and Sally Clarkson. This is Christian nonfiction. I really like Sally Clarkson. I actually read this years ago and feel like a few months ago, six months ago, maybe it would have been a great time to reread it. I'm thinking I will pick this up when it, the time comes again. So right now it's a three, but like different seasons, it will be bumped up. Okay, continuing on, A Red Herring Without Mustard. This is book, I think three, it's where I'm at in this series. And honestly, I'm just not interested in it. I don't know if I'm done with this series. So this is mystery, but we follow a, we follow a middle grade character, but it's not middle grade mystery. Um, I need to decide if I'm done with this series or not. So maybe a two because I need to read it to find out, but I'm not really very interested. Okay, so much to live for. Lurleen McDaniel. Um, yeah, if I ever want to do like a childhood reads thing, but for the most part, generally a four. Sophia's War, middle grade, historical fiction. I realize I'm not saying the genre for all of them because I forget. Um, three. What Katie did. Um, okay, I really like this cover, this edition, whatever. I know nothing about this. What is this? I think it's maybe a middle grade classic of sorts. I've been really into classics lately and children's classics are easier to read. So let's put this one as a two. Uh, Banicula. Uh, this is also middle grade. Not quite old enough to be a classic, I think, but kind of used that way. 79. Um, oh, the bunny is Dracula. It's bunny and Dracula. Wow, that took me way too long. Too many times hearing, seeing this. Probably like a three. This is Alexander McCall Smith's a different series. Um, this is The Charming Quirks of Others in his Isabel Dalhousie series. This is book seven. So right now this is a four. I think I got this from a little free library or something. Um, I obviously need to read one through six and decide if I even want to read seven. So currently a four. Paper Wishes. This is uh, middle grade historical fiction. Three. Winnie the Pooh. I've never read the original Winnie the Pooh. Um, so, 2.5. Okay, this is Paper and Fire. This is in that same series as Ink and Bone. I don't know what book number this is. Why doesn't it say? Um, so currently a four, because I need to read book one first. Deadline by Randy Alcorn. I don't know what genre it is. Fiction, suspense, it's suspense, ooh. Okay, let's say two. Oh my word, that font is way smaller than I was, way smaller than I was expecting. Can you, can you tell how small that is? Like, like this is normal font, and this is this font. That's crazy. Okay, and then like the Alexander McCall Smith, sometimes I just, get books that are in the middle of a series. So this is The Dead Ringer, uh, an Agatha Raisin mystery, which I need to read um, the mystery series, but I think that this is book like 20 or something, 20 something, and I know I have another one coming up that is also way out there, so currently a four. See You in My Dreams uh, by Donna Carroll. This one the author sent to me, it is like a middle grade YA book. Um, I'm going to be doing a reading vlog in, or like a weekend, I don't know, I'm gonna pl have plans to one weekend in November, like read all the books that author sent to me. So keep an eye out for that. So this will go up to a one because it's, it's coming up real soon. Okay, Vicious by Victoria Schwab. 
I need to read this one because this is what fantasy probably knowing her um, I haven't been the hugest fan of her book so far but maybe this one will be it so three yeah three. Oh, Ash and Quill this is continuing that series I don't know what number it is still a four because it's not book one <laughs> another James L. Rubart the pages of her life one I need to read this Oh, uh, this would be Christian... I don't know, he has like... I don't even know. I don't know what it is. Veiled in Smoke. This is historical fiction, probably. I bought it because there was the word bookshop in here. So I really need to join in, I think it's February, where there's a couple different um, historical fiction read-a-thons going on. And I need to just pull out all my historical fiction and go hard. So, but really, like right now, this is like a four. The Secret of Magic by Deborah Johnson. According to the back, it is a novel. It tells me nothing. Uh, I don't know what this is. So, a four. Oh, this is gonna be forever long. Um, a Lineage of Grace by Francine Rivers. This is biblical fiction, follows five women whom God chose. Um, not normally my thing, but what can I give it for a number? 2.5. A Time to Stand by Robert Whitlow. Fiction. Sweet. Okay. Um, like four. Francine Rivers, Redeeming Love. Um, biblical slash historical fiction. And this would be a reread for me. I haven't read it since high school. Um, three. Mandy and the Secret Tunnel, middle grade, mystery, flashback to my childhood, um, three. The Careful Use of Compliments. Oh, hey! I don't even know if I knew that I had two in this series. This is the Isabel Dalhousie series. I don't know what number it is. Um, mystery. This is number four. Um, so let's give this one a three, because I still have to read the first three books. A Great and Terrible Beauty, uh, YA Fantasy, um, three. <laughs> the Thirteenth Tale by Diane Setterfield. Oh man, so many wanted me to read this this month. Um, I forgot about it. Four, honestly. I did not like her other book. Mozart's Sister, um... Historical, historical fiction, Christian historical fiction, um, 3.5. My name is Leon, um, middle grade or why, middle grade maybe, um, fiction has to do with foster care, I think, 2.5. Love Where You Live, books are falling over, um, Christian nonfiction and probably a 3. J.K. of Tutu's First Spy Case, middle grade, 3.5. Bobsy Twins, this one is on a houseboat, um, middle grade, almost a classic. I don't know what year it is, but uh, probably almost a classic here. 1915, yeah, that's over 100 years old. Um, three. Then I've got The Assault, which is um, like the second for, how do you explain this? There's four short stories written by four authors, and this is the second book in the series. Um, so, yeah, I didn't really like book one. This is Christian Supernatural Suspense. So, three. I've um, got Fable Haven, book two, uh, middle grade. Middle grade? Mm, middle grade, yeah, probably. Uh, fantasy, three. Oh, my stack is precarious. Uh, Secrets of a Charmed Life by Susan Meisner, historical fiction. Let's give this one a 2.5. Beating About to the Bush. So this is the other one that I have. It's like number 20 something. So I'm going to give it a four. Okay, we're on to the last stack here. Um, Paschetti and Meatballs. These are just comics. Um, 
that I remember from childhood. So like one, because that's fun. Um, Eric Wilson's Vancouver Nightmare. These are middle grade Canadian mystery books. Um, also remember from childhood. This would be fun. Let's say 2.5. Oh, Choose Your Own Adventure, Terror on the Titanic. Also a childhood thing. Um, two. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I ever shared this one. Camp Sunshine Friends, Megan's Ghost. This is, oh yeah, this is just like the typical, um, cover of a lot of books that I read when I was younger. Um, so three, I don't know. Then I've got Red Scarf Girl. This is middle grade historical fiction. Three. James Harriet's Cat Stories. Um, I don't know, it's cats, so let's go three. The Sweet Life. Oh, I need... This has got a bunch of poems and things. I wonder if I should read it now, or if I should save this for spring. I'm just like so into poetry right now. Let's give this a one. I'm gonna put this on my stack of books to read now. Um, the Silent Patient. I don't know why I'm not that interested in this. This is a thriller. Three. We've got Soul Tracker by Bill Myers. Suspense, Christian Suspense, um, three. Okay. All Things Bright and Beautiful and Every Living Thing by James Harriet. Once again, I want to read these in the spring, so let's give them a three for now, but that would be bumped up if it was springtime. The Lost World, um, this is, I think, the second book in the Jurassic Park, is there only two? I don't know. But it's after Jurassic Park and I don't have Jurassic Park, so currently a four. But uh, I would like to get to it soon because I've heard good things about the series, or at least the first book. The Space Between Words. Fiction. Yeah, okay. Um, three. Don't really know anything about it. A Conspiracy in Belgravia. Mystery, but like Victorian mystery. Oh, that might be good for like Victober vibes. Um, Oh, Lady Sherlock, right. Uh, let's get this on a two. See, this is good. This is reminding me of what's even on my shelves. And Unkindness of Magicians. This is probably like, just the book I've talked about the most and I've never read. Um, this is fantasy. Yeah. It's a magical revenge thriller. Why have I not read this? 1.5. Ruth Ware, The Lion Game. Um, Thriller, because it's Ruth Ware. Um, two. The Glass Town Game, middle grade, um, kind of based on the Brontes. Uh, it's, it's so pretty and, like, adorable. Pretty and adorable. It's got illustrations, but I have a feeling it's not going to be good, so I've been avoiding it. 2.5. My Grandmother Sends Her Regards and Apologizes by Frederick Bachman. Um, I don't know, probably heart-breaking like some of his other books. Um, but I'm so 50-50 on his books. I'll give this one a 3. Chains. Uh, I've heard good things. This is middle grade history, historical fiction. Um, 3. Okay, these are the last three books. Until, Until Tomorrow, Mr. Marsworth. I can't believe I still haven't read this one. I've heard so many good things. Uh, middle grade, historical fiction, kind of, I think. Um, three. The Dragon and the Mask. Uh, this is sent to me by the author's um, fantasy. Uh, so this is going to be coming up right away. So let's give this one a 1.5. And The Forgetting. <laughs> this one, I, uh, I don't even know what it is. I went into an, what had been a new bookstore at the time and felt like I needed to buy something. But all the books that I'd heard of, I already owned, so I just bought this book. I don't know what it is. YA something, maybe. So, a four. But maybe I should bump it up so I can get it off my shelf. Whatever, it's a four. And there you have it. That was a look at all the books that are currently on this TBR shelf of mine. Tell me, what should I include on my next TBR cart update? Because um, sitting here and I've got like at least one shelf worth of space that needs new books. So let me know what are some great ones here that I should be prioritizing. Thanks for watching guys.